Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to Iceberg Hills Zoo. Yes, a new planet zoo build that we will be building in multiple episodes and this is the first episode. You're welcome to watch this series of videos if you like planet zoo and if you like the arctic theme. We will be building habitats for, and these are my initial plans, five animals. The arctic fox, the wolverine, the king penguin, the polar bear of course, and the reindeer. And of course, the, my plans may change based on your feedback and comments. So please let me know what you like and what you would like to see in this series. As you can see, we have this quick tour of what I have so far for this build. I built the entrance and the first habitat for the arctic fox. So I hope you like what you've seen so far. This is like a preview of what the series will be like. We will be working with a natural habitat. We will be creating this natural looking soon more like a natural reserve. And we will be working with the Arctic theme and pieces from the Arctic pack. I thought this would be interesting. I love Arctic animals and I think we, we can create some really nice looking habitats for these beautiful animals. So let's begin with the first episode. Let's go to the explore mode so we can act as a guest, so we can see everything from the guest perspective. Here we have the entry. This is the guest. Let's say that I am a guest coming here and the first thing I can see is, of course, the snow and the ice and the beautiful trees from the Arctic. I really love this combination of like a, an orange color in the leaves and a white. It really gives me that arctic vibe. Here we can see a welcome sign that I customized with the flexi color. It's just, I, I just love the carvings on the wood uh, on these pieces from the arctic pack. And by the way, in this uh, series we're going to be building with the arctic pack. So we're going to use pieces from the arctic pack, we're going to be using blueprints that already come with Planet Zoo from the Arctic pack. So this will be like a themed build, but I hope you like it. I love Arctic animals, uh, like the polar bear and the reindeers. Like you can see over here, we have the beautiful polar bear after we go up the staircase. We see all the trees giving us this Arctic immersion and we see pieces from the Arctic pack. Let's go closer to this. You can see these, um, these benches and these trash bins, they're carved in wood and I just love these pieces. Here we have the central piece which is the polar bear. In the comments please share some suggestions of how we should name this beautiful bear. This would be like our zoo mascot. And then uh, here we also see like some water. You can see that this is like an iceberg floating in the water. That's at least that was my original intention when I created this central piece. And here we have like these snowflakes. They are like lights in the dark. So if we move this to the dark, let me just pause the, the game and move this so it's dark. You can see that they glow and everything looks great. Oh, right now I am realizing that we don't have enough lights. So the zoo will be very dark at night. So that's something that we will be adding in the coming episodes. This is just like the first step of the zoo and I wanted to share this with you so we're on the same page and you know how everything is evolving in the zoo. In the entrance we also see the information stand where you uh, guests can find more information. Hi! Look at him, he's waving, he's happy, that's great. A great first impression for our zoo. So let's move here. This is like the central roundabout of the zoo where people and guests that come in would see first. This in my initial idea would this would be like an exit but I'm going to have to make this clearer in an upcoming episode. This should be the exit and over here we should have the entry to the zoo like this. Just Look at the the landscape. That is another thing that I would like to compliment the Planet Zoo team on. This is just amazing, the mountains and the landscape on the horizon. Here we can see like this, uh, the water treatment plant and the power generator. They, I will need to cover these up a little bit because they are right in the main guest path. So I will need to relocate them, but for now they are functioning. So that is okay for us. And over here you can see this beautiful side of the of this small iceberg 
complex here. This is like the ice melting, we see the water, the water effect. And this has tundra rocks and ice rocks and some trees from the tundra. So, and we also see some plants here that give us that tundra vibe. Hi! Okay, it's great to see the staff at work. As you can see, I have the zoo closed right now, so we don't have any guests. And over here, we find our beautiful arctic fox. This is the first animal I added to the zoo. Right now, it's the only animal that we have, but it is beautiful. It's a beautiful animal, and we're going to see this from the viewing gallery. It's an elevated viewing gallery. You can see that over here, we have like the main path and the elevated path, and we have some decorations in between with some tundra rocks. And if we move here, we're going to find some benches where people can sit and just enjoy the view and learn more about the Arctic Fox. Here we have the education sign. I love education signs and I think that zoos really do need to have an educational role in society. So that should be their main goal. And just take a moment to look at this exhibit. I try to make it as natural looking as possible. Oh, Nunik just died. He's one of my arctic foxes. He died of old age. How sad. We should make a memorial to him, so I will remember that and I will keep that for the next episode. For now, we're gonna pause the game to, to prevent any more deaths, so I'm going to pause the game for now. This is a donation box to remember. And here we have what used to be a scarecrow. I use that as a reference for the proportion and the size of things, and I highly recommend doing that. It's a tip I learned from uh, other Planet Zoo creators like Caesar Crates and Rudy Rankamel. Thank you so much in advance to both of you and the lady signer, of course. They always share great tips, and that's one tip I learned from them. But this scarecrow doesn't really have a head anymore and it's like really scary so I'm going to delete it from now and we're gonna get, grab another one when we start building again. So I'm going to delete it and I'm going to start the explore mode again. Let's take a moment to take a look at our beautiful, beautiful arctic foxes. Oh, how beautiful the arctic fox. They just look like real life plushies, I think. They're so fluffy and full of life and they're just beautifully camouflaged. I mean, if you take a look at them from an air perspective, they are really camouflaged. If you didn't see the shadow, they would be completely camouflaged. So that is amazing. And here we have our beautiful Arctic fox. We actually have the, the mother. These are like the babies. And we do have the mother here, which is an adult. If we find Tutega over here, Tutega here, we can see that she has a blue morph, brown fluffy fur coat. She is the mother of these beautiful babies. We can find them here. We go to social, to the stud book, children. Here she has four babies, five babies, but their mother is a color morph, a blue morph. Look at them. They just look amazing. If you take a closer look inside the habitat, you will see that I am using the newly added domes or the, the recently added domes in the one of the latest updates and I really love them. It gives that immersive experience for the guests. And over here we see the beautiful foxes. Let's just unpause this for a moment and I hope no one else will die and we can see them running here. He, this is what the guests will see, but you will have a VIP view and I will show you the, the foxes really up close in their habitat. Yes, we do have a variation, a color variation here. We have a brown adult arctic fox. We will see that in just a moment. It's actually a she, it's a her. She is the most beautiful arctic fox I've ever seen. So if we go down here, oh, and something I also wanted to highlight here is that I made these custom columns, this like a um, cover, they cover the, the benches. So if you maybe want to find some inspiration here, I hope you find them helpful with Arctic pieces and with wood, with the, the beams, the wood beams that we have in the Arctic pack. I am using natural barriers mostly here. You can see that I'm using the mountains and I am also using like the, the icebergs, the, the ice rocks. And over here we see an accumulation of rocks and you will see what that is in just a moment. So now we're walking, walking, walking and we see more stuff. Hi, hi everyone. 
great to have you here. Great. Thank you. Go work. Go take care of the animals. Thank you. Over here you see the these large buildings which is the staff area. These are the blueprints from the Arctic pack. And over here we reach that pile of uh, ice rocks. This is the entry to the domes, to the viewing domes. So if we go in here, we should be able to go into the viewing domes. But of course, that is just a black box. This is something that I should <laughs> fix right now. I don't like this like long grass. I like the terrain to be like more snowy. So I'm going to reduce the size of this and just add snow over here to remove this long grass. So that's a note for an upcoming episode as well to fix that everywhere where I find this. Let's go into the staff area. This is the staff path. You can see the Planet Zoo logo here, but it's covered in snow. And these are the beautiful blueprints uh, that we have with the Arctic pack. In this build, I'm not going to build the, all the buildings in a custom piece by piece way. I'm going to use the buildings from the Arctic pack and I do think they are beautiful. I love them. I love the carvings they have in the wood. I think we can use them in this build and in an upcoming build a new zoo, I may build the, the, the buildings piece by piece. But for now, I really like to use them as they are. Great! So now that we are going to be out of the explore mode, let's just talk a little bit about my plans for the zoo and what you can expect in an upcoming episode. I'm very excited to share this with you. Here I am planning to add a wolverine habitat. And then here in this area, I'm planning to add the king penguin with an underwater viewing gallery over here. The habitats, I'm planning to separate them with a natural mountain and use natural barriers, but we will see how that goes in the upcoming episodes. For those episodes, I will show you how I build the habitat step by step. Those are my plans for this area. But for this area over here, where we do have more space, I am planning to add the polar bear and over here the reindeer. As you can see, we have like an elevated area from the entry. This is why we have the stairs over here because this is a little bit elevated. So we will have two different levels in the zoo. And in this lower level, I'm planning to add the polar bears and over here, the reindeer. And maybe we will need a staff area over here because I don't think the staff area would be here, which should belong here, or at least we should have two of them because the zoo will be quite large and I don't want everyone in the staff just being uh, running around and trying to take care of the animals while taking care of themselves and having so much uh, stress going from one place to another if the zoo is too large. So that is my plan for this build. I hope you liked it. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Do you like this central uh, piece in the entry? What do you think we should name this beautiful polar bear sculpture, eye sculpture? Share your thoughts in the comments and I promise you that in a future episode I will definitely add some lights over here because this is kind of scary. I can't imagine anyone being here at night without any kind of lights. So that is something on my to-do list definitely for the upcoming episodes. Thank you, this was my first ever narrated zoo tour on YouTube. Planet Zoo is an amazing game and I am planning to share many builds and tutorials on my channel on Planet Zoo. So if you're into this kind of content and you love Planet Zoo, you're welcome to subscribe and I really appreciate your likes and comments. So have an awesome day and have fun playing Planet Zoo!